coaches, and quarrels. Everyone on the island of Sodor knows that wherever Thomas goes, Annie and Clarabelle go too. The three friends are inseparable. They love running up and down the branch line, singing songs to each other, and wouldn't trade it for anything. On the main line, change was afoot. Sir Topham Hatt was testing a new stopping service. Rather than changing trains, passengers wishing to travel on the branch lines were designated certain coaches. At the junction, the coaches were uncoupled and added to the branch line train. The passengers enjoyed the convenience. Thomas, meanwhile, enjoyed the attention. It's only natural the fat controller would give me more responsibility, he boasted to Henry one day. Given how well I run the branch line, I'm surprised he didn't do it sooner. You do know he's running the same service on Edward's branch, don't you? asked Henry. Thomas wasn't listening. He coupled his coaches to Annie and Clarabel and hurried away. Do come along, we shan't be late. Do come along, we shan't be late, he sang. We're coming along, we're coming along. We're coming along, we're coming along, Annie and Clarabel answered. The other coaches remembered Thomas from his days as station pilot. Soon, they were telling him all about their journeys along the main line. Annie and Clarabel wanted to sing more songs, but Thomas was too enthralled in the other coaches to notice. Later, Thomas shunted the coaches to the carriage shed, then stopped for a rest. As he slept, Annie and Clarabel conversed. Why don't we have any stories to tell? Annie wondered. Oh, we do, replied Clarabel. Only, they're all about Thomas going fishing. Losing our guard, Annie added. Racing Bertie, finished Clarabel. Wonderful stories, mind you, but... Oh, we were merely along for the ride, Annie sighed. It would be nice to go on the main line again, smiled Clarabel. Who knows what we'd see nowadays? At that moment, Thomas awoke. So, I'm not good enough anymore, is that it? What nonsense! You're not fit for the main line nowadays. Annie meant to tell Clarabel they weren't fit for the main line anymore, but Thomas's words infuriated her. We're quite fit! Thank you. Besides, it would be nice to go with the other engines. Perhaps they wouldn't ignore us. Thomas was shocked. Well, well, fine, he huffed. I'll just take other coaches. And that was how it was. The next day, Annie and Clarabel were added to James's stopping service, and Thomas used two of the old coaches. They said nothing to each other as they left the junction. At first, things went well. Thomas felt pleased. Do come along, we shan't be late, he sang. Do come along, we shan't... We won't be late, grumbled the first coach, if you focus on the line and stop that wretched singing. The second coach muttered in agreement. Thomas was speechless. As they approached Terence's field, Thomas whistled gaily to the tractor. Not long after, Bertie rolled past, and Thomas whistled again. For goodness sake, grumbled the first coach. How many whistle boards are there on this branch line? I was only saying hello, Thomas cried. No time for those sorts of pleasantries on the main line retorted the second coach. Not when there's a timetable to keep to. Thomas's heart sank. This wasn't what he'd expected at all. He was miserable for the rest of the day. He didn't want to admit it, but he missed Annie and Clarabel dreadfully.
At the end of the day, Thomas was at the junction with his last train. He was having a drink and feeling quite down when Henry fussed in. Well, Thomas, he fumed, you wanted more responsibility? Be a responsible engine then and take these coaches back. Thomas looked up. At the rear of Henry's train were Annie and Clarabelle. Silly things haven't stopped singing all day. Do come along or you'll be late. I've been on time all day, thank you. Thomas couldn't help but laugh. At once, he coupled the old coaches to Henry's train and took Annie and Clarabelle away. Henry huffed off indignantly. I'm sorry, you two, said Thomas sadly. I shouldn't have been so rude. My day has been dreadful, interrupted Annie sadly. Ours too. We missed you dearly, added Clarabelle. Those mainline engines treated us awfully. Some adventure that was. Disgraceful, huffed Thomas. They should be so lucky to have you on their trains. The three friends stopped. Then they laughed. It was good to be together again. Thomas still takes other coaches along his branch line, but Annie and Clarabelle stick close behind him. They still bicker, as good friends do from time to time. From that day on, however, there was no talk of leaving for the main line. Annie and Clarabelle concluded that the only story they wanted to tell was that of their peaceful little branch line.